Okay. Okay. So, uh, in terms of revenue, we reach, uh, or we are about to reach five billion uh, dollar uh, level this this year, most likely. We we have uh, twenty thousand employees worldwide working for VMware day and night. Uh, as far as Baltics uh, is covered, we, we are basically three guys. Yeah, Maybe you know Darius Spicis, who is uh, here, uh, uh, and uh, Gedrius Markevich. Uh, they are all based in Lithuania. And I also covered uh, Baltics from the pre sales perspective out of the Vienna. So uh, what does it $5 billion mean? Yeah, that means uh, we are slightly smaller than Microsoft. Yeah, uh, we are not that big as Oracle, but we are definitely bigger than the company next door. Yeah, which is Citrix. Yeah. By the way, thank you very much that you came to this uh, room, uh, not to the room which is next, yeah? <laughs> because they will uh, try to convince you that they have about the same stuff, which is not uh, always the truth. Yeah. Uh, in terms of the customers, we have uh, we are about to reach the ha uh, half million. Uh, uh, f uh, how to say uh, level this year? Uh, of course, with your help. By the way, I always use this opportunity to thank you. How you say thank you in uh, Estonian? Aita. So we have two words. Yeah, Aha, okay, this, I'm always learning. I know one your perfect word. Uh, uh. I, I really love it. Okay. So thank you very much. Without you, without your contribution, we will not uh, be, be there. Yeah? And we have uh, quite a few big customers here, uh, especially in the banking area. Yeah. So uh, uh, why, why we are b basically turning? Because you know we are a well-established company in the, in the data center. Yeah? So why we are moving to the, to the client side? Yeah? Uh, the reason is very simple. We see still more and more. Uh, I would say action, uh, because this, uh, uh, this event is called action. We see that uh, more actually action, more innovation is being done now in the something we call end user uh, area. <clears throat> so uh, we usually start with this uh, in the, okay. In the good old times, we, we were lucky to have one, one PC, yeah, which was big, yeah. And it was the only device uh, which was uh, our interaction with the, uh, with the bits and bytes. Uh, so usually I'm asking how many out of you are already happy owner and proud owner of a tablet PC? Uh, okay. Uh, it's, I would expect more, actually. In, in Estonia, it used to be more. For, for those of you who don't have iPad or, uh, or Android device yet, uh, there are good news. Yeah? So some uh, Chinese companies are coming with uh, really good stuff. I mean, 10-inch, uh, four-core uh, tablets, Android tablets. And the price, it will be like 130 euro or even less. Yeah? So th this thing will start to be really, really affordable. Yeah? And uh, you know, I'm, you, you, you have to travel when you want to come to Tallinn, yeah, and, and then you meet people at the, at the airport. And I was in Frankfurt yesterday, and I was in the lounge, which was crowded, as you can expect. And I guess at least 90% of the people who were in the lounge were carrying at least two devices, yeah? So smartphone, uh, uh, notebook, and, and a tablet, at least, yeah? Some people are carrying also iPods and you know all this all this stuff. Yeah? And also, <clears throat> uh, you know, there is a battle between uh, iOS and Android. Yeah. So who is for iOS? Yeah? Okay, Android. Yeah. So the slide. Uh, yeah, I have the slide is correct. Yeah. Uh, I, we as a VMware, we are professionals, so we are we should work with both of them. Yeah. It's uh, for the time being, it's for us easier to work with uh, Google than with uh, Apple for some reasons. Yeah. But uh, as you can expect, this can this can change over the time. Yeah. Uh, and uh, maybe you have noticed uh, just last week, uh, Gartner. You know, that's the 
that's the market analyst, so th these guys, they should know. Uh, they came with a new prediction, yeah, they are making uh, every six months, yeah. And this one, the, the week, uh, the, the one which was, which they made last week was uh, a very, very, I would say, strong statement. Uh, that by the year 2017, which is four years from now, uh, basically there will be no Windows desktop, yeah. So that the windows on the desktop will be that marginal thing that it will be kind of not, not existing anymore. Yeah? So it's not us, yeah? that's Gartner saying it. Uh, I am taking it, you know, I have heard uh, in my life that many predictions, you know, the famous one was IBM mainframe is dead, yeah? and it's still there. It's, yeah, it's, you know, people are using it. So we will see, yeah? but the trend is still, uh, it's clear, yeah. Uh, tablet, uh, the revenues of tablets are booming, yeah. And uh, the classical PC, whether it's a notebook, a standalone PC, or uh, well, something we call ultrabook, is more or less steady, and maybe even declining, yeah. And of course, there is uh, something which uh, uh, was uh, difficult to have uh, maybe two, three years ago, but now application is the king, yeah. So that's something we visit uh, Play Store, uh, iTunes, App Store every day, yeah? Uh, so the amount of applications we are running today as compared with the uh, last or two years ago is, is actually booming. Uh, the other thing is also their applications are not tightly, uh, you know, coupled with the desktop, yeah? Uh, they are usually web-based, yeah? Now, the, the, the modern application has to be web-based, yeah? Uh, do you agree? Yeah? So uh, the access to the application should be easier than, than it used to be before. So for example, we, uh, we at VMware, yeah, no, basically we don't have uh, any more applications uh, which are kind of uh, tight, uh, written for Windows or any other operating system. Most of our applications which we use internally are the software as a service, yeah, web-based applications. Uh, and of course the access, yeah, uh, it would be stupid if you have, if you run two, three devices, you know, not to have the uh, anywhere access, yeah? So from every device you own, you expect that you have access to your application, yeah? So these are the trends which are there, yeah? So this is the, this is the kind of uh, guidance where the technology is moving, to, yeah? And once you have a good answer for this trend, yeah, uh, then you, then you own the market, yeah? then you become the king. Yeah? So basically, uh, the answer to a, a good answer to this trend means uh, uh, billions of dollars. Yeah? Uh, so uh, today I will try to, to show you the, and to share with you our answer to these trends. Yeah? Uh, uh, and I believe our answer is also will be worth a few billions of dollars uh, in the years to come, yeah? of course, with your, with your little help from you. Yeah. So, uh, f what does it mean, the, this trend for the IT? Yeah? So, before it was kind of uh, client-server apps, yeah? the big applications like Oracle, like SAP. Yeah? So now we have to, the IT people have to admit that there are new mm, applications. I don't mean Angry Birds, yeah? mm -hmm. but there are still some Android or iOS applications which bring some value to you. Yeah? Uh, the data is spread. Yeah? Uh, you have some data on your phone. Mm -hmm. You have still data on your home PC. You have data in the office. Yeah? Uh, you have at least these three, three platforms, yeah? most of you. And you have uh, diverse devices. As you can see, even not all devices are shown here. Have you seen Google Glass? Yeah. So it so now new types of uh, devices is coming, yeah? So the pressure is there, and you as the IT people, <coughs> basically you have uh, three, three possibilities how to avoid this, uh, this challenge, yeah? How to, uh, you know, ignore the thing, yeah? Th that's the first approach, yeah? So ignore it, uh, and I still there are quite a few companies doing this, ignoring this uh, uh, this uh, evidence. Yeah, uh, but that means that you are not uh, that your company is basically not uh, competitive enough for the uh, years coming. 
lock it down. That means that you will allow to use these new type of devices, yeah, but you will restrict the way how they are used. Yeah. Or then by point solution, that means you will either uh, decide today uh, or it will be iOS, it will be Android, no, it will be Windows Mobile, yeah? and then basically you are betting. Yeah? Uh, it's probably not the best uh, answer as well. Yeah? Any, any comments? Yeah? We, you know, you can be branded, yeah? So I, there are a few companies who are Apple based, yeah? Uh, you know, good luck, yeah? Good luck. Android seems to be very powerful today, yeah? Two, three mistakes Google will make in the future. Again, good luck, yeah? So we believe uh, <coughs> the, you know, there is no simple answer to that, yeah? So, uh, based on this, uh, we made our decision basically uh, to address uh, these new challenges uh, in the way that uh, basically we we understand that uh, there is no revolution, but there is evolution. Yeah, so people will still continue to use Windows for a while. Yeah, and we don't know how long this while will be. Could be two, three, uh, could be ten years very easily. So for this uh, type of users, uh, we have basically two solutions, Horizon View, desktop virtualization. Uh, that's the, I would say, the, the way how you can uh, kind of eliminate your, uh, your dependency on the windows. Yeah? The win uh, desktop virtualization can bring you a bit farther because then you start to deliver your, your desktops as a service. Yeah? Then for the, I would say, um, other type of users who, for some reasons, uh, stay with the physical desktop, yeah? we also have a solution which uh, helps them at least with the management of this existing infrastructure. And for these uh, uh, new people, these uh, vis visionary people, we have a brand new thing which is called Horizon Workspace. And this Horizon Workspace is oriented towards this new class of devices, tablet PCs, smartphones, uh, and maybe hopefully in the future also for these Google Glasses, etc. And uh, since we don't know, we really don't know, yeah, how this will, uh, you know, develop in the future, uh, we keep these three sets of products in uh, kind of a suit, yeah. That means it's not a, a simple product; it, it's a it's a bundle of the products, yeah. And uh, we give you the freedom; you can choose, you know, one solution, yeah. You can choose two, yeah, or you can uh, choose the the whole bundle, yeah. And we believe for the, for the time being, for the 2013-2014, uh, it's of, uh, the best approach. Yeah? It doesn't limit you yeah? uh, and gives you the freedom and uh, you can basically uh, continue to use your traditional IT as you did before and you can prepare for the, for the new thing. Yeah? So uh, what is the difference? Uh, very simple, desktop virtualization, your, your desktop runs in the data center and you have uh, remote access to your, <coughs> to your desktop in the data center. Uh, do we have a happy user of VMware View here? Okay. So the, with the, have you seen that how, yeah, how he raised his hand? That means that you are happy, yeah? Okay. So there is a value in this product, yeah? Uh, the value is not that visible as when we came with the ES6, with the server virtualization. The value was there for every single customer, yeah? View is not for every single customer, yeah? But it brings value for a specific class of users, yeah? And we have validated it over and over, yeah? Uh, so it's not 10,000, you know, out of these uh, half a million customers, yeah? Uh, there is a smaller portion of these View customers, but uh, once you have a sound business case, uh, it gives you, it brings you value. So. Uh, the next thing is Mirage. Basically, it's for that people who still have a good reason to run physical desktops. Yeah, uh, physical desktop is yeah. We have you can see some here. Yeah, uh, basically it's uh, <coughs> business as usual. And here we are trying to fix one uh, problem, and this is this management of the physical desktop. Yeah. Uh, so desktop as such is distributed. Yeah. So it's not that easy to manage it centrally. 
so we came with the product, actually, we didn't develop the product. We acquired a company called Vanova, and uh, we believe that uh, there is a point, yeah? So if you mix, uh, if you join these two solutions, then basically you can address most of the current IT challenges in the, any given company. So I will have some more slides on, uh, on Mirage later on. And Horizon Workspace, basically, it's, uh, there is still desktop, yeah? So from your tablet or smartphone, you have access to the desktop, uh, whether it's physical or, or virtual, yeah? But the, the, the key thing on this uh, Workspace thing is these uh, new types of applications, web-based or, or software as a service applications, yeah? So again, and this is uh, delivered to you as a, as a one, one suit. <coughs> so, uh, view. <coughs> so here are these uh, key, key drivers for uh, desktop virtualization. Security and compliance, uh, for example, I'm coming from Slovakia. In Slovakia, our largest customer is uh, uh, Slovak Department of Defense, yes, yeah, Slovak Army. Uh, and basically the key driver there was the, the secure access to their desktops. Yeah? So with the physical desktop, no way. Yeah? Uh, the only way how you can really access your desktop uh, securely is when it's virtualized. Yeah? Uh, and obviously OPEX savings, yeah? if you are big enough, yeah, uh, then there is a very easy calculation yeah, which can uh, prove that within, if you are bearing like five years in mind, yeah, it's, it's definitely less expensive to run a virtual desktop than the physical desktop. Yeah? So we, we went through this few times and now we, we can prove that uh, th this really works for, for most of the customers. Yeah? Uh, in your case, what was the driver for your desktop virtualization? Sorry? I didn't hear. Okay, okay, but one of those, yeah. Yes, anywhere access. Anywhere access, okay, very good. Uh, we don't have T-shirts, yeah, but anywhere access is is a, is a very good point. By the way, uh, you know that we are using the our own protocol, PC over IP, which uh, uh, more or less we do a, a partnership with a company called Teradici, yeah. And uh, this PC over IP is, uh, is a protocol which was designed uh, particularly for this uh, remote desktop access, yeah? Not, not just like RDP, yeah, you know? RDP has a diff completely different design point, yeah? And now you, you don't need even the, the view solution. There is something called PC over IP direct access, yeah? So you can access uh, your uh, virtual desktop directly without even buying the view solution. So then uh, Mirage is a new thing uh, which we are trying to position especially <clears throat> in the areas like uh, uh, maybe here, PC refresh and savings, yeah. Uh, I don't know, the countries are different, yeah. I don't know in Estonia whether you are already on Windows 7, probably, yeah. Uh, there are still countries where Windows XP is still dominates on the desktop, yeah. Uh, so they, these people will sooner or later they have to make a decision to migrate, yeah. Uh, I know the typical way how to migrate the desktop is to buy a new notebook with the new operating system, yeah. But for people who have a bit larger scale, yeah, uh, we have a solution, and uh, Singh is believing that we can basically automatically uh, migrate. Uh, physical desktop from XP to Windows 7 or Windows 8. Yeah. Sync is believing, so if you want to see it, yeah, uh, all our products are accessible, you can download them and you can use them for 60 days uh, without any, uh, you know, uh, obligations, yeah. Uh, so quite a few uh, customers in Slovakia downloaded uh, this um, Mirage just to uh, see whether it's really true. But really, I, I will have some slides on this. So really, you can uh, centrally manage your physical desktop and uh, uh, replace uh, the operating system without uh, any big, uh, I would say, uh, mess. Yeah. Have you heard about the Mirage? 
Not yet. Uh, so once you're on Windows 7, any, any, how to say, uh, push to go to Windows 8? You don't? Yeah. Uh, have you heard uh, the boss of Samsung, what he told about Windows 8? I'm sorry, he told it, not me. It's the same shit as Windows Vista, yeah? <laughs> and, uh, you, know, it's, you know, these Koreans, they want to make big money you know, all the time, yeah? Uh, I believe, uh, you know, no, nobody's perfect, even, you know, even we are, yeah? So, uh, that was Mirage and Horizon <coughs> Workspace. Again, <coughs> security and compliance uh, its probably one of the key drivers. Uh, once you're using your home or bring your own device, yeah, uh, probably for the corporation it's not that uh, uh, too easy to accept uh, that there will be no security measures, you know, uh, deployed on your device, yeah. So, yeah, you need a piece of software which will control what, uh, you know, the bits uh, 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 traffic from your own device. Anywhere access, of course, a big driver. Multi-device access, yeah. Uh, we are smart people, yeah. So, you know, the smartphone has a usually five-inch uh, screen, yeah. Four to five-inch, yeah. Uh, tablet has seven to ten, yeah. yeah. So I believe most of you are kind of manually adjusting this, uh, uh, the, the, the way how the things appear on your screen, yeah? Which is really stupid, yeah? So let's let software do this automatic adjust, yeah? And that uh, you don't need to bother with the simple things that how many icons you can put on, on, on the screen based on the size of the screen, yeah? And of course collaboration is also one of the big drivers here as well. So Horizon of View, uh, <clears throat> it's, a, it's a very mature product. Yeah? It's, uh, I joined the company in 2008 and the product was already existing. Uh, so basically we are just uh, adding, we are improving the, the product. Uh, we are now in the 5.2 release yeah? and uh, we still we already work on the, on the new, new release uh, uh, which should come uh, later this year. So we made a few, few announcements uh, on, on every aspect, that means user experience, management, and also TCO. So let uh, me show you some major ones. Uh, so now, as you know, companies like NVIDIA, uh, they also innovate, yeah? So they are coming with the more and more powerful uh, graphical processors, yeah? Uh, so some people, they are very specific niche market, yeah, but they do have a problem, yeah, uh, to you know, mm, to share this uh, uh, graphical power, yeah. So the business case and a real business case which exists, and uh, for example, in in my country in Slovakia, is that uh, the company which is developing some 3D products, yeah. Uh, the data is that sensitive that it has to stay in the country in the data center. Uh, but uh, the developers are also expensive, yeah? So they are in the different countries, yeah? So how to, you know, you can buy 10 workstations and distribute in the countries, yeah? Or uh, you can buy one, you, you put the data in the data center and let the other remotely access to that data, yeah? So this was not uh, possible before, yeah? Uh, we, we only were using the general purpose CPU for view, yeah? uh, which was uh, strong enough, yeah? but not good enough for 3D modeling, yeah? 3D modeling in real time. Yeah? And now we can do this. Yeah? We have a project, then the data will stay in Slovakia, and uh, the users, the designers, will sit in Budapest, in Hungary, 200 kilometers away. Yeah? And uh, the business case here is the, the data security. Yeah? So the data should not leave the data center. Yeah. Yeah. So, so a niche market, yeah. But apparently, probably in other countries, uh, this need exists. Otherwise, this uh, this innovation would not be there. Yeah. <coughs> uh, the other thing is that uh, we have uh, I don't know 
Mm, which is the product of your choice. We internally we are using uh, Cisco WebEx technology, yeah. But now Microsoft is coming with uh, <coughs> similar technology, which is called Link, uh, which is this, uh, you know, also voice added to the desktop data. Uh, so in the uh, 5.2 we have uh, we have also support for this Link, yeah. So these are these little tiny things which can make this. Uh, uh, customer, you know, the decision sometimes can be based on such uh, little things that whether you support this technology or not. Yeah, so we support not only link, but now we support also uh, uh, voice and video in uh, virtual desktop. Uh, and you know, the voice is a very special thing. Yeah, it's data. Yeah, but you cannot uh, send. Uh, the end of the sentence before you uh, send the, you know, the beginning of the sentence. Yeah, so voice communication is you have to follow some basic rules. Yeah, so uh, it's not that easy when you are when you have to come with a protocol which is doing I don't know hundred to one co uh, confirmation. Yeah, and at the same time uh, provide enough support for the voice. Yeah, so it took us like three years, but now we can uh, we can do voice over IP. Uh, we don't scale to 10,000 users yet, but uh, decent uh, implementations with up to 1,000 users, uh, we can do also voice over IP uh, with a virtual desktop. Uh, of course, Windows 8, once it's here, yeah, uh, the market didn't embrace it very warmly, yeah, uh, but uh, you know, we always we are giving Microsoft two, three, four chances, yeah, and eventually they will fix it, yeah. Uh, so Windows 8, 8 is here; we have to accept it. So the product would not be uh, uh, useful, yeah, if the Windows 8 would be there, yeah. Uh, Windows 8 uh, support uh, from the client side, uh, it was always there, uh, I be, even before, yeah. Uh, this little thing, Windows RT, uh, this is not that thing that we uh, are doing as a, as a first thing, yeah. Uh, also due to the fact that uh, Android and iOS is much more, you know, present than uh, RT. Is somebody using Windows RT here? Okay, so, thank you. Yeah. Whatever I ask, you provide the right answer till now. Yeah. Okay. But you are close to Finland, so you should uh, support your Finnish cousins with the uh, Nokia stuff, which I believe is is not bad. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Okay. So okay, Windows RT is here. Uh, we we have to live with it. Uh, and uh, of course. Uh, as I told you, this is a suit, yeah? Uh, View, Mirage, and Workspace is the suit, yeah? But there is a kind of uh, <coughs> um, integration already. So basically, from Workspace, yeah, from this web based thing, uh, you can access the, uh, the Windows View desktop uh, already now, and you can do it with, uh, with SSO, with single sign on. And why you can do it? Very simple. That uh, the HTML5 protocol is now more and more uh, available. Yeah. Uh, so you have uh, basically every every modern browser is now supporting HTML5, and we have this uh, Blast <coughs> uh, Blast technology that uh, we were kind of promoting uh, for some time. So finally, it made it to the product. Uh, so you don't need to install the View client anymore. Yeah. All you need. All you need to, when you want to access the desktop, all you need is to have a, a decent uh, browser. And decent browser is basically everything what, what's out there. Uh, <clears throat> one little thing which we want to, um, how to say, make our products, how to say, to, to make a little difference uh, uh, that uh, nobody else is doing. So once you are accessing the uh, your view desktop, uh, Windows desktop from, let's say, a tablet, yeah, and you usually are not playing with the operating system, yeah. So you up, you go there because you have you have a need to run some Windows-based application, which is usually a kind of office, yeah. Uh, so instead of uh, you know 
looking from the, on the uh, uh, screen, yeah, where is my Windows, uh, uh, sorry, view, uh, Word icon or PowerPoint icon or SharePoint icon, yeah. Uh, so we, we came with the utility which we called Unity Touch that basically it will appear on your, on your site and uh, you will find your application much, much more easier, yeah. So this is kind of little innovation, little tiny thing which can make a, make a difference, yeah. Uh, from the ease of management, uh, <clears throat> so probably we don't have that much uh, problems here in Estonia or in small countries with it, uh, but um, uh, in the past uh, we were kind of restricting the, uh, the virtual desktop pools uh, with eight hosts, with ESX hosts, yeah, so now we allow to, to this desktop uh, pool to be spread across the whole cluster and you know our limit for our uh, ES6 cluster has been always 32 hosts, yeah? So in other words, uh, you can make your, uh, your view uh, implementations bigger and bigger, yeah? And we do have such customers uh, like 40,000 40, uh, uh, desktops, uh, yeah? Okay, I, I have been notified it's 10 minutes, but we, we started much later, yeah? It's really 10 minutes? Okay, now I have to. Okay, so this is the, uh, again, the problem you have to see in your, in, your, uh, uh, in your data center. If you are a big bank, yeah, global bank, yeah, uh, before it takes uh, literally minutes to hours to manage your desktops, yeah, now we, <coughs> uh, we make some scalability improvements, so within one click, uh, you can make some actions on, on the large large pool of uh, desktops. The same here, yeah, fast management operations. Sorry, I have to, to speed up because uh, I started there. Yeah. Again, uh, for these people who don't hear some issues with Microsoft, uh, we promise to bring uh, Microsoft free environment, yeah. Uh, we delivered on this promise, yeah, so you know that we have uh, our management suite, which is called vCenter Server, is now Linux-based appliance, yeah. And now we allow also that uh, view can be managed from, from this virtual appliance. Uh, we at VMware, we also believe that uh, there should be, every VM should be created uh, with some management insight, yeah. So uh, you shouldn't be deploying uh, VMs without, without uh, management, yeah. And therefore we have this, uh, 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 recent operations, which is our suit, which is uh, which you can get for server virtualization. Yeah, so this suit you can also have now for for desktop uh, VMs. Yeah, uh, and it really <coughs> it starts to it starts to catch up. Yeah, so we see some very very good customer success stories. Uh, and of course uh, the. The, as I mentioned, this trend is towards the web access, yeah? So uh, in the last 10 years, people get used to our thick view client, uh, sorry, this view client, yeah? Uh, that was the, the way how you access the virtual environment, yeah? Uh, and now we are moving towards web client, yeah? Uh, but I promise, yeah, uh, next releases, yeah? Uh, everything will be in the web client, so there will be no need to touch the, the vSphere, the thick Windows client, yeah? So, and of, of course the view will go there as well. <coughs> I will skip this. So Horizon Mirage, uh, basically this is probably the, the, mm, the, the way how the market looks today. So still more than 50% of the people are uh, kind of, uh, uh, rely on the desktop, physical desktops and laptops, yeah. Uh, this something like 10 to 15 person went to the virtual desktop, yeah. And uh, this era, this mobile access tablet <coughs> and smartphone, this is growing, yeah. Uh, at the expense of these physical desktops, yeah. So this is View, uh, this is Workspace, and this is uh, Mirage. Uh, and by the way, we see our opportunity here that uh, our friends from either from Citrix or uh, from Microsoft, they don't have a similar product, yeah? So we have kind of a unique, uh, unique product with unique uh, 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 value proposition. 
so this is how it basically works. Yeah. So uh, if your problem is that you have, uh, let's say, 50, 100, 200 users with physical desktops, and these users are getting, this, you know, they are smarter and smarter every day. Yeah. So they do the things which you don't control on the desktops. Yeah. And still, you are in charge of the desktops. You are responsible that they are up and running every day. Yeah. Uh, so the way how you can achieve this goal is that uh, you keep control of this, uh, of le at least of these basic layers, which is uh, device drivers, operating system, and uh, corporate applications in the central way. So the something like a core image is. Uh, uh, is located in your data center, uh, usually on the, can be a cheap storage, NAS, yeah, uh, where you have this Mirage server. The Mirage server you control through admin uh, uh, console, yeah, and the clients can be either, you know, uh, local in your headquarters or can be, you know, spread across the globe, yeah, so in your branch offices, yeah, and can even be in the fusion in the VM, uh, uh, which uh, uh, which runs on uh, on Mac OS, yeah, and basically it's all about this layer technology. So what you have to do uh, on your laptop is to install a small, little, tiny client, which is two megabyte big, yeah, and then uh, there is you start a synchronization between uh, your client and your Mirage server, yeah, and uh, you are ch checking the co compliance every. You, de you define the, the period, how, how often you do, and uh, when you see some inconsistency, yeah, you start to, uh, to the data transfer on a block level, which is very efficient, yeah, and uh, you transfer the data and uh, achieve the uh, compliance. Yeah? And you can do it on the device driver level, so provided uh, a typical, uh, typical example is a user is changing from Dell a notebook to HP notebook, yeah. So okay, the OS is the same, yeah, uh, but the device drivers are slightly different, yeah. But you can you can basically achieve also this because you have a, a driver library prepared, and you start uh, to uh, to synchronization with the with the driver first, yeah. Uh, and basically, usually we are asked that how how keen we are, how, whether we use our own technology uh, in-house, yeah. Uh, we do, yeah. Uh, we don't have that many desktop, virtualized desktop because we travel. We don't have the sound business case for virtualized desktop. But for this we have the, uh, we have the business case because we, ha we still rely more or less on physical desktop. Yeah, so this is the screenshot from how Mirage is used at VMware, yeah. So you see that uh, some status, yeah. So, uh, so how many progresses? How, how many tasks are in the progress? Uh, uh, how many? Uh, what is the compliance? Yeah. So how many OSs are or core images on the other side are in compliance? Yeah. So very yeah, single screen tell you uh, how your users are, are doing around the if you are a big company around the globe. Yeah. And uh, basically, you can. Uh, you can license this uh, this uh, uh, product in two ways. Yeah, uh, provided you your only need is to migrate from XP to Windows 7 or Windows 7 to Windows 8. Yeah, you can license the product only for six months. Yeah, or you will do some. Uh, you will do also the. Uh, sorry. Uh, you will need it for, so for example, this is uh, good stuff for backup as well, yeah? So it's not a typical backup, yeah? You don't backup the whole image, yeah? But you backup at least the core of the desktop, yeah? So then, then uh, you can uh, go for the perpetual license, yeah? And you, don't, uh, you buy the license for the unlimited time, yeah? So that, that was the <coughs> Mirage thing. Uh, how, how many time we have? So how much time we have? One minute. Uh, are you in in hurry? Uh, you will give me five minutes. Okay, so this is the the new thing <coughs> which is coming. Uh, as you know, we have also marketing. Yeah, uh, I was talking about the desktop. Yeah, what is desktop? It's a two-dimensional thing. Yeah? It's flat. Yeah, so our marketing came with uh, 
three-dimensional thing. So now we have workspace. Yeah, you know, uh, and it's not that visible that third dimension there. Yeah, but uh, you know, we have to. Uh, it makes a difference. Yeah, sometimes uh, it it helps. Yeah, again, this uh, uh, we cover this fifty-two. It depends. This is uh, IDC Forester. Yeah. <coughs> Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we there is the new devices are coming. Uh, we are trying to use them. We will see how how it will work. Uh, definitely, uh, new apps are coming, and they are most most of them of the new applications are web based. We have to accept this trend, and uh, the people are also uh, coming with the new expectations. Yeah. Uh, report is and basically use it due to the lack of company. This is very important. Yeah, uh, if you are in uh, in uh, IT, yeah, uh, you will see this uh, push from the end user. Yeah, so they will come to you. How can I use my tablet? Uh, how can I access my corporate applications? Or please uh, mm, do it that I will be able to run my application from from my tablet. You know th this stuff. Yeah, so. Again, uh, there, are, there are problems, yeah. Uh, but uh, if you if you solve these problems properly, uh, then your company can actually benefit out of it, yeah. Uh, people don't know, yeah. Uh, but we people who are using this uh, these uh, new devices, yeah, uh, whether we like it or not, uh, we work more than the other people, yeah. Do you believe that you are getting these devices just uh, for fun, or for, you know, that, uh, so to say, free of charge? Yeah. No, companies expect you to use them. Yeah. And uh, since they're mobile, yeah, uh, the, the chances are that you work more are, are very, you know, very, very good. Yeah. So whenever I see, I have, I have old technology, which is the BlackBerry. Whenever I see the light flashing, yeah, whether you like it or not, you have to jump on it and, and answer the email yeah so so there is a good reason behind it yeah it's not only it's not only for fun yeah so basically the key message here is that we want to be in the middle yeah uh, so we want to be this this uh, glue if you want yeah and we want to bring all these technologies uh, uh, together so uh, your the classical one so we believe the, the windows will stay for a while at least, yeah. So you will you will keep using it, yeah. At the same time, these new new uh, new applications will uh, will come uh, with the more uh, there will be more and more of this new stuff. And you want to share your data, you know Dropbox, yeah. Are you using Dropbox? Yes. You have to share the data. What is the issue with the Dropbox? You don't know where the data, yeah, whether it's in US, Europe, yeah. So we we have a Dropbox which sits in your data center. That's that's the only difference, yeah. Uh, and then you need the access from from every device uh, which is available on this market, uh, and and we uh, kind of focus on this little thing that we bring these things together, yeah. And this is this Horizon workspace, yeah, uh, which we announce uh, in. In March, yeah, uh, I have to finish. Yeah, so I, yeah. so if you want to uh, to to learn more about uh, Mirage, uh, please come to our booth. We are next to where we are. Well, we are. It's not that big, yeah. Uh, so we can discuss uh, further. Yeah. Okay. Th thanks a lot for for your attention. Yeah. Um, any questions? We don't. No. Okay. So. You will come to the...